What did you get for Christmas, Karen? I got a sign. <laughs> and I've got a flat battery on the ute. Really don't know why. I don't think I left anything on. Luckily I've got jumper cables this time and we somehow just have to fit Andrew's car on the side and charge us up. Hayden literally left this morning before we found out that, that the ute had a flat battery. <laughs> Finally getting the hang of like jump starting cars. This is the second time I have to do this. So now I'm, I'm going into town to the hardware stores. There's some paint for the containers to pick up and I want to buy some wood to finish building this chicken coop. We're trying to use scrap wood that we have but I think we need a little bit more My Christmas present from Hayden was actually a bit late, which is fine, I'm patient, and it was well worth the wait for this. The sign was made by someone local, and it's really cool. It's going to be a bit different. And my chicken plan is progressing. I have bought the fertilized eggs, and they should arrive in a week. I bought the egg incubator and the heat plate for the little chickens and their first feed as well and it's all jammed onto the bed. The caravan bed has really become the storage area. So this is the, the incubator, surprisingly large. I bought this off Trade Me, which is like eBay and it's basically the cheapest one I could find that automatically rotates the eggs because that sounds like the time consuming part but it seems like a super simple design and then this box of goodies was from a chicken specialist place in New Zealand <laughs> so that's the heat plate that seemed to be the cheapest I could find online I ended up buying a uh, water feeder to keep the water fresh some minerals and some chicken feed and I do have a soft spot for seeds. I ended up just adding the seed packet on top. I think the chickens turn the soil and then you can sprinkle these on, keep the chickens away for a bit and then let them in. They can have great fun. The sun, the sun is glaring off the white pumice. Oh, it's a bit sunny out here. The next stage will be actually making the chicken coop. So my plan is to use a lot of the wood we had left over from the shower build and then I went into the hardware store and just bought a tiny amount of wood, a couple of planks for the very base, some structural wood for the walls, and one piece of plywood for the, the flooring. That cost me $200. Like, the price of wood has gone crazy. And then talking to someone, um, I have heard a rumor that the price of structural wood could go up 20% soon. So probably not the best time to build a house really <laughs> and back to talking about birds we seem to have the cheekiest black bird living on the land at the moment and it keeps coming into the caravan and leaving little poops around i've caught it once before and then this morning it was back in there again i managed to film it this time so i think we're gonna have to get into the habit of closing the doors when we leave mm. and other animals in the area. I noticed last summer we seemed to have waves of weird insects that I'd never kind of come across before. Right now it's the wave of, I think it's called the Mason wasp. It's a black native wasp that doesn't really sting. The only annoying thing it does is it seems to like building its nests in the folds of curtains or in little nooks and crannies inside so last summer I had some insisting on building their nests in the caravan and in Hayden's bus 
and this summer there seems to be three of them who have decided the best location is under our dining table. One's under the seat. Let's see if I can find it. Huh. It's filled in the hole here. So that's four. Four holes filled in. And this one's in the process of being filled. Because I've never come across this wasp before, I did Google a bit more. And the weird thing about them is they seem to pack in still alive spiders in there that are semi-paralyzed, or I don't know, they can't move or do anything, to feed their young when they hatch, which is a very odd addition. <laughs> don't know what I think about that. <laughs> Uh, nature can be strange. And while we're on the animal theme, I thought I'd share this video I took yesterday. I got stuck on the drive with sheep. I think they were moving sheep from one farm to the other and boy, there were a lot, a lot of sheep.